channel. Welcome to some more Idaho single track. Beautiful wildfires all over the place. Gorgeous view of uh, Garden Valley. I mean, it's crazy, crazy high elevation up here. It's beautiful. You can see the granite. This trail has a lot of really good flowy sections coming up it. A lot of good rocky sections, good technical stuff. No shortage of granite, that's for sure. And uh, lucky for us, a lot of it is embedded granite, so it makes it a lot easier to ride. Perfect soil today. We just had a storm go through, so yesterday it really made the soil perfect out here for today. This section was actually pretty tough coming up. It was just like a constant climb bouncing around through the rock. It's a good change of pace going downhill. We are on the 450s. He's got the same exact bike. So we are two 450s in the uh, Idaho mountains today. They've been doing pretty good about not overheating or anything, but you do definitely, uh, you work harder when you're on a 450. Yeah, going downhill, I'm noticing a lot that uh, it's not my arms getting tired, it's my, it's my legs absorbing all this rock.
You got it? Mind if I show you something? Yeah. I can get on this side sometimes, on the uphill side, and then just compress my front fork. Oh, and bring the... Yeah, bring the rear end over. Okay. And then from here, it's easy.
Run the middle, buddy. where the mountains are steep and the women are hairy. This is my homeland. Winters are cold. So cold that you have to cuddle with bears to keep you warm. I haven't been doing much narration on the way back, but I've just been so into this ride. It's so beautiful. This front tire is my front tire. I haven't been running this for a long time because I've been riding the two-stroke. I've been in the process of wearing out the tire that's on the two-stroke, so I'm trying to at least wear it down a little bit before I get rid of it. But this bike has my front tire on it. It feels so planted and so good. The flow state that you can get into. Sometimes your tires can make or break your ride. Especially the front one, because there's so much riding on it, literally. That front tire is what keeps you off your face. The rear tire is what helps you climb all this stuff. The front tire I use is the Shinko fat tire. And then the rear is a IRC M5B. Although that one could be uh, could be swapped out for something else. I wouldn't mind. It's just so cost effective. You can keep a fresh one on there and they last a long time. Not necessarily what I would run if I was to uh, be in some hardcore competition stuff, but for riding just normally, the 
M5V lasts really long, lasts really well. All the races are canceled this year, so I'm really not doing too many. Well, I did one race, but I was going to do um, a lot more this year. One thing about racing, a lot of these races, you have to train in the stuff that they throw out there. A lot of it's not natural stuff. So you can be as good as climbing, that climbing as you want, but if you're not good at hopping logs that are oddly placed with a two by four behind them and crap, teeter-totters, and chopped wood. I mean, it's, you have to train in the environment that you're racing in. And if you don't, there's just no way to compete. It doesn't matter how good you are. You could be way better than the other riders, but if they've been doing specific training on man-made obstacles, then there's no way to compete with that. So you have to uh, definitely, that's one thing I would recommend before doing hard enduros. A lot of them have these man-made obstacle sections. Better get on that. That's what I ran into. I was pretty good at climbing and stuff like that, but then, man, I just got demolished by those man-made sections. Since then, I've done a little bit of training on that stuff, and it sure doesn't take long to master it. Not really master it, just get to where you can get over it pretty easily. And they make those, those obstacles harder and harder too, so. You gotta change up your course every so often. And that's it. That's that, that's the ride. From here on out, it's the road. This has been a beautiful ride. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys stayed for the whole thing. It's probably gonna be a longer video since there's just so much to see in there. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.